What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial of Tech and Bits. I'm Enias for Tech and Bits and today we are going to take a look at installing Mac OS X Line in VMware Workstation 8. What you will need for this tutorial is Mac OS X Line which will uh, be able to download from our website and VMware Workstation 8. If you don't have VMware Workstation 8, you can go to our website or our YouTube channel and just go ahead and install it. It's for free. We have made a tutorial on that in the previous episode. So let's go on with the tutorial. So first of all, you need to go to the link in the description and download that VMware file. So currently we only have a torrented file because uh, the file that you will need to download is around 3.5 gigs in uh, data space. So we aren't able to give you guys a web upload link at this very own moment. So what you will do is just click torrent download and it will go ahead to the link of the download and click download torrent or click on the magnet link then click on uTorrent or whatever program you use for downloading torrent and click OK. Then it will start downloading the torrent and start downloading all the programs you need. So let me just go ahead and go to my downloads folder and after the download you will see that Mac OS 10 line 10.7 tech in bits file or folder is in there. Just double click on that and you will see that there's a application a .exe file and a system information file. Just double click on that .exe or application file and you will extract all the files you need. You can set this to whatever you want. I've set it to my desktop and that's where we are going to look at. So just click extract and it will start extracting. But I've already done that for this tutorial and here's the folder that we've got. Just double click on that and you will see three folders and some more information it's our website our youtube channel and then readme but the folders that we need are the three above that so first of all if your computer doesn't allow hardware virtualization you will need a bypass for that and for that we have patches for 64 bit and 32 bit so what you will need is getting to know if your computer is a 64 or a 32 bit so what you do for that is go to start go right clicking on computer go to properties and in here you will see 64 or 32 operating system then close that and run the program you will need then go to our folder again and this is very very important so what you will have in here is a patcher that will enable VMware to run Mac OS X in that virtualization space of yours. So for this it's very very important that we disable USC or user application control. So for that go to start control panel then system and security in the action center you will see a button change user account control settings then click on that and normally it's on the third stand and make it go all the way down so you have the option of never notify me when then click OK and you're set to go go to the folder again from VMware 8 double click on that we st we have a workstation unlocker that we need so double click on that and you will see a lot of files so in order to patch VMware you go right click on install and run as administer and you will see that the application is running it's very wanted that successful is at the end of that program if you see something else then successful it's because of the 
fact that the program didn't install correctly. Make sure your VMware is shut down so we won't have it running in the background and right click and uh, run it as administer and USA need to needs to be uh, disabled. So after you have done that we can go ahead and install our virtual machine. So go back to our folder and you will have a folder named Mac OS 10 line tech in bits. Double click on that and you will have a list of files that are um, virtual machine workstation 8 files. So what we will need is this virtual machine configuration and double click on that and it will start VMware automatically. So in here we have a few options that we can edit. So for example go to edit virtual machine settings and we have some um, hardware that we can change. If you have a lot of memory in your computer you can uh, go up and down for um, this virtual machine and processors if you have a lot of calls or for a lot of threads you can go ahead and um, <clears throat> edit the amount of processors you will actually use okay your hard disk you can edit that also and then there's another few options you can edit but make sure in the options folder that the guest operating system is still Apple Mac OS 10, Mac OS 10 server 10.6 64-bit. Since if you change that, your virtual machine will fail to run. And this is exa exactly why we patched VMware. Because VMware wasn't able to run Mac OS 10 but because of the patch we have now the option of running Apple Mac OS 10 on our VMware. So click on OK and power on this virtual machine and you will see it will start booting up by the Apple logo. So just wait for a moment because the loading w does take a while because Mac OS 10 line isn't optimized to run as on this amount of cores and uh, this amount of RAM so it doesn't have the resources to boot up so fast as it normally does and it doesn't boot up as fast as Snow Leopard anyway so just wait for a moment and I'll get back to you as soon as the desktop shows up okay so now we are in Mac OS 10 line and you will see that there wasn't any install process so this is normal because it's a pre-installed Mac OS 10 line I've already installed all the latest updates for you guys so if you download it it will be with the latest updates and there's a folder install after boot this is quite important and in the next tutorial we will talk about these files so as you can see we have now Mac OS 10 line and the only thing that you will need to know is the fact that Mac OS line has a password in it and the password is tech in bits. So as you can see if I go to system preferences I can adjust everything as I want it to be. So for the next tutorial tutorial please go to our YouTube channel and go ahead and subscribe go ahead to our website and subscribe as well so more uh, coming up tutorials on Mac OS 10 and running in virtual machine so stay tuned for that please subscribe comment and rate this video and I'll get back to you as soon as possible